very good morning good afternoon good night whenever you will watch this video so today our topic is economizer so i have drawn the figure of economizer on the board and economizer is what it is a accessories of the boiler and economizer is used to increase the efficiency of the boiler now one question may arise in our mind that how economizer will increase the efficiency of the boiler so answer is what that this economizer is located in between boiler and chimney now how it is located if i want to give the example to so supposing that is your boiler over here water is present and supposing that is your furnace so over here combustion of the fuel is taken place and that furnace is connected with what connected with the chimney so that is your chimney and over here combustion of the fuel is taken place so hot fuel gases are produced that hot fuel gases will heat the water which is present inside of the boiler and after that whatever waste heat is there of that fuel gases that is rejected in the atmosphere with the help of a chimney so that economizer is used in between or it is located in between that is your furnace and that is your chimney so that economizer will do what that economizer will use the waste heat of the hot fuel gases so that heat is given to that boiler water and after that whatever waste heat is there of the hot fuel gases that will travel through the chimney and rejected in the atmosphere so in between that chimney and that uh, uh, furnace we are using the economizer so economizer will use waste heat of the hot fuel gases and uh, increase the temperature of water and that much high temperature of water not that water that economizer will heat economizer will heat the water which is present inside of that economizer by using the uh, waste heat of the hot fuel gases that means economizer will increase the temperature of water and that heated water is given to the boiler that means what now inside of the boiler we are supplying the high temperature of water that means if you want to convert the high temperature of the water into a steam at that time less amount of fuel is required that means we can save the fuel with the help of economizer so that economizer will increase the efficiency of the boiler now we will see how it will do so so first of all we will discuss about the construction in the construction as you can see that economizer consists two tubes that is first tube and that is your second tube now first tube is known as cold water tube and it has one water inlet from this water inlet we will supply the room temperature water or you can say cold water after that that is the another tube which is known as a hot water tube inside of the hot water tube whatever cold water we have supplied that cold water will be converted into a, into a hot water inside of this hot water tube after that that the both of the tubes are oh sorry that hot water tube has one safety valve which is will provide the safety to that boiler and over here that hot water tube has one water outlet so in hot water tube whatever heated water is there or high temperature water is there that will transfer to the boiler that means that water outlet is connected with over here boiler now both of the tubes are connected with the help of small pipes so these are the small pipes these are the small pipes and from the small pipes that hot waste heat of hot fuel gases will pass over here i have indicated like this that from this uh, small pipes the heat waste heat of the hot fuel gases will pass so that inside of that small pipe what happen water will be heated now inside of that small tubes scrapers are present this is your h portion is known as scraper now that uh, small portion i have enlarged over here so in small tube scrapers are present and that scrapers are connected with the help of belt or chain so that is your belt or chain that is your belt or chain and that belt or chain is mounted on one pulley or on one gear so that is your pulley or gear you can consider now as pulley will rotate in clockwise as well as in anti clockwise direction so what happen that scrap scraper will move in upward as well as in downward direction inside of the tube so that scraper will do what it will remove the scale or impurities which is present inside of that tube and that scale or impurities will be collected at the shoot chamber which is present at the bottom side of this tubes 
Now this is all about the construction. Now we'll start with the working principle. So how it work? So first of all, what we will do? We will supply the cold water. We can say uh, normal temperature of water inside of that cold water tube with the help of water inlet valve. After that, that cold water tube will enter inside of the tube. So supposing over here cold water height of the cold water is that much. Supposing cold water is present inside of the small tubes. After that, from these small tubes, hot flue gases are passed. That means this hot flue gases will reject the heat to this cold water which are present in the tubes. So that the cold water which are present in the tube will be converted into a hot water. And hot water has less density. As hot water has dense, less density, so what happens now that hot water will move in the upward direction. So that level of hot water is increased. And at the same time, the supply of cold water is continuous. So now cold water will achieve that much height. Again, what happens? Hot flue gases are passed, which is reject, uh, waste. Hot flue gases will pass. Again, that cold water will convert into a hot water. Again, its density is decreasing. Again, it will move in the upward direction. So that that hot water will enter inside of this hot water tube. That means now inside of that hot water tube, hot water is present. Now that hot water tube is given to the boiler by using water outlet. That means inside of the boiler you are supplying the hot water. So if you want to convert that hot water into a steam at that time can we say that the less amount of fuel is required and as less amount of fuel is required that means you are saving the fuel that means you can increase the efficiency by using this economizer also when water is heated inside of the tube at that time that uh, scrappers will move continuously and continuously they will remove the scale or impurities which are present in water and the scale and impurities are collected inside of this shoot chamber which is present at the bottom side. So this, this is the working principle of your economizer. Now I would like to end this video. We, again we will meet in a new video with a new topic based on this accessories. Till then read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.